to keep on trucking make sure you're always changing your oil frequently I'm gonna go get some 1030 oil to put back in there I'm just gonna let this drain and drip for a bit until it's completely out and yeah you really want to make sure I'm um, gonna mess around here sorry guys uh, you really want to make sure that you're maintaining your long tail mud motor and maintaining your long tail shaft checking your bushings making sure they're all right making sure when you're running you're not hearing clanging noises you're not not seeing a lot of vibration bad deal make sure your your uh, kill switch works your button make sure your pull cord kill switch works crucial very important these long tails will kill you. If you fall out of that boat and you get hit by that prop, God help you. Because you're likely going to be out in the middle of nowhere. And this little thing will cut your damn arm off. Six and a quarter. Six and a half. Seven. Another seven, seven and a half. Make sure you got plenty of extra props. Always carry them with you. Make sure you have just a little tool bag. You have plenty of tools. Make sure you have at least six gallons of fuel. Make sure you have a life jacket. Make sure you're completely legal, guys, because you get nailed pretty easy. And, uh, I know this looks bad right here, but maintain your engine. Do yourself a nice cart too. They're really nice. Make sure your power cables, all your leads. Bring extra electrical connectors because I've had to replace this one and this one here, a couple of other places because uh, a lot of vibration these connectors out of the factory are not the best, unfortunately. Uh, and so I had that happen like 15 miles down the river out in the middle of nowhere, no help. And so just really troubleshoot. Make sure you're checking these, your connections, if you're having any issues with that. Check your oil level. Carry extra oil because these things have an oil shutoff, a little oil shutoff, and we'll just will quit if your engine is low on oil. Make sure you have plenty of fuel and make sure before you take off that you're topped off because I'm this thing will only get about 10 miles hard running up river. Down river 15, 20 I can get, but you'll run out of fuel faster than than you expect. And uh Really sneaks up on you, and when you're in the middle of a river, not a good situation. I would recommend getting yourself a, uh, a bigger fuel tank. Remove this. They have a, a fuel tank removal kit. Get yourself a pulse pump. Hook it up to a marine fuel tank, like six gallons. Best thing. And always have that electric start, guys. All right, make sure you're maintaining your, uh, your kit, your engine. Make sure you got all your gear, your tools, plenty of water. Of course, I'm not going to tell you guys how to, be, how to be that way. So, all right, getting her ready, and we will be rocking and rolling real soon on the Tongue River in Montana. Alright, stay tuned.